Hey guys, Sarko here. Just going over a quick gameplay on Spain. The KI 84 Otsu. We're going to be fighting against the Spitfire Mike 24. He's obviously a battle rating 6.7. I'm a 5.7. So this is a full up tier game, as you can see. We're going against props and jets. So we're at 5,000, well, 6,000 meters now. The climb rate of the KI 84 Otsu is about 18 meters per second. You can put it in a 20 degree climb to about 2.2 kilometers, and then if you put it into a 15 degree climb after that, you can get to about 4.9 kilometers, all without dipping under 270 kilometers per hour in the climb. So it's a pretty average climb rate, if not poor climb rate to be honest, at a battle rate in 5.7. You get out climb by pretty much everything. It's kind of a hybrid this plane between an American energy fighter. Slash Boom and Zuma and the Ameri and the Russian energy fighters like the Yak 3. So here we go into the merge. I go evasive. He's got more energy than me when I get behind him. So we're rolling down with scissors. I will out turn him at this speed. I have great flaps, I can use my combat flaps up to 650km an hour. I can use my takeoff flaps up to 500km an hour. He, as you just saw, just rips his flaps, he can't use his flaps above 270km an hour. Right here, that's Spitfire, he could have just gone straight vertical, or carried on. He could have carried on with his nose lifted, and I would have not been able to follow. Instead, he rolls over to try and re engage. Maybe he was trying to be ambitious and get a finishing blow. He gets a small hit into my rudder, which does no damage. Again, he tried to deploy his flaps and ends up ripping more. And he rips the last bit of his flap off. Not sure how the Spitfire is doing, Rose, that quick. So I can put it into the vertical, bleed a bit of speed. Part of a carried on going vertical there, he might have been able to get a shot, so I'll put it into horizontal. As you can see, in a horizontal turn with our nose pointed down a little bit, we don't really lose speed, you can maintain it for at least half a row. We do get a hit in there, but these Japanese 20mm, they're not the best, they feel quite hard to use. I've played this game for several years and I've mainly used the Spanos and MG151s. So maybe it's just me being inexperienced. With this bit fire multiple times in this engagement, could have just put it into a slight vertical and I would not have been able to follow him. KI-84 also it doesn't have a powerful engine. Like I said at the beginning of the game, if you have energy, you can use it as an energy fighter, but you do not have the thrust, say of a P-51 D-30. You don't have that low speed power output vertical climb and you can just see if he wasn't doing these rolls his acceleration would be a lot greater than mine I think this guy is a fairly new player to everything's fit getting a bit too close to him there didn't want to crash put it into a vertical drain a bit of speed try and get a better shot do manage to create his rudder, I think. Again, I'm going too fast. Can't get a shot into him. I have music vertical targeting. Like I said, these guns, they don't feel natural to me. I feel like if Sparno was there, he would have been dead. Put it into a vertical, loop over. He stalled himself out pretty much in an energy trap. And take off his left wing. So that was another little engagement that I think shows all the strengths of the K84 Otsu. When you're in a dive, you can roll, you cannot turn most planes. Your weakness in this plane mainly is against an American boom and zoomers. If they're above you and at high energy, you do not have the energy tension to fight them. Unfortunately, the American player we see in front of us isn't a boom and zoomer. 
it's a ground attacker. As you can see from our tickets at the top of the screen, he has done quite a lot of damage and drained us quite a bit. At this point in the fight, as you saw, I was spraying quite a bit to try and kill that Spitfire. I think I only have a few cannon rounds left. This AD4 is doing everything he can do and is expected to do fighting a superior plane. Well, I am holding my fire here, I don't want to waste my bullets and have to RTB. Could have possibly took a shot here. The same as that Spitfire. Getting close to enemy planes usually makes it harder to shoot them down, not easier. Relatively speaking, obviously, within 0.1 km it's quite hard to eat. But one burst is all we took for kill him. I wish it took only one burst to kill that Spitfire, but hey. So we're here over Berlin, we've got a P-47M and a Fuckwolf D9 premium. I'm more worried about the P-47. So I focus on the P-47, roll under his guns. He extends as he should, he's in a pure boom and zoomer. I'm not worried about this D9, I can outturn him. Very easily, especially with these flaps. Go into the vertical, can roll. Can roll and turn inside him pretty easily. Now you're going to get a good idea as how I think these guns are just completely... You just don't shoot where you expect them to go. It's like, very unique. Like the velocity just seems incredibly slow. I can't remember the word I'm thinking of, but it's unintuitive. You just don't shoot where they think you're going to shoot. That I find the guns are the single biggest issue with this plane. The performance is great, it's a dream to fly. But these guns, man, I just... Can't get him to work. So to summarise, I think the weaknesses of the K84, it's got quite poor energy retention out of a dive. It's got quite hard to use guns in my opinion. It is hard to regain altitude and speed if you sacrifice it. You will compress in a dive over 700 kilometers an hour, especially over 800. And I think if you get to a low speed, your engine just isn't powerful enough to compete with contemporary Allied fighters such as P-51D-30s. I think the pros of the aircraft, you've got a very good turn, you've got very good flaps. You can use your combat flaps up to 650 km an hour, take off flaps up to 500 km an hour. You do have a very relatively good roll rate for this aircraft. If you work as a team of the Japanese team, you will club everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video on the strengths of the aircraft. I'll see you in the next one.